Hey, this is Rebel Builder, and this is the Imperial Assault Carrier. Now, this is a Star Wars Rebels set, but as I did some research, I also found out this ship appeared in The Phantom Menace, as well as The Clone Wars. And if you're new to my channel, please hit subscribe so you can see my other videos. So here we have another amazing modern set. The shape of the ship itself might kind of not be everybody's favorite, the four TIE Fighters attached to the bottom should kind of give you an idea of how big the ship is supposed to be. You know, it's nowhere near the size of a Star Destroyer. It's just supposed to be something a little bigger um, so you can carry more troops into battle. Even though this ship is nowhere near minifig scale, they did include a little pilot here in a little cockpit up front. The side here features this little panel that opens up and out this slides this little panel with some extra spring-loaded shooters. Towards the rear of the ship, you can turn this engine here and you can see there's some gears inside which cause the top and bottom turrets to fire. And then also these are those flick fire shooters here, like the little blasters. And there is some space inside. Now to gain access to that, this whole panel comes off here. And then inside the ship here, there's a little control panel, a little seat for some Imperial crew members on either side of this. So beneath the chairs, these panels lift up, and on either side, a little container here with an Imperial sticker on it, and it includes some extra blasters for your cannons back here. As is common with a lot of the bigger sets, this piece here, a little lever, that allows us to pick up the ship safely. And here we can drop these top panels back into place. A little place here up front for that to hold on to and then the handle does pop through. The coolest play feature of this set, as well as the most fun building technique here, you can see these axles sticking out here and there's a set on either wing, but we can pick it up and push these in and on either side, it will release the TIE Fighters. Now here's a look at the bottom, and I wanna to try to show you what happens when we push these buttons. As you can see, these pieces move back and forth. Now there's one of those rubber connectors in there, so there's some spring to this, a little tension, and so we take our TIE Fighter with this little hole here, and we just kinda of push these up, snap them into place, and as we push this in, that lever moves back and allows this to release and fall out. And here are the little miniature representations of TIE Fighters. We do get four of them with this set. Now they are pretty basic builds, you know, just some plates and um, black plates and gray stuff in the middle. But I think the neatest thing is the little cockpit piece on the front there. That's a printed detailed piece. So it was neat that they included that. Our minifigures here include Agent Callus with his special staff weapon, and we get an Imperial officer and two TIE fighter pilots. We also get an Imperial astromech droid, and we have to include a rebel, so we get Sabine Wren. But also one of the unique features of Sabine in the set is she includes her Mandalorian helmet. I think that's a big draw for people. I thought this set was a great combination of a very cool look a very menacing looking ship for the Empire, as well as some amazing building techniques. How those TIE Fighters released, that just kind of made my day when I built this. Very happy. You get a pretty good selection of minifigures too, and Sabine with her Mandalorian helmet, I think that's a big draw. So thanks everyone. Please comment, like, and subscribe on this video, and I'll be back soon with more. Thanks everybody.